Welcome back guys in a new video. This time is for a new shoe review. The Adidas Adid Zero RC5. I was waiting for this shoe already for some months. So let's check it out. Let's go. Time to grind, get inside your mind Yeah, we working overtime, that's the only way to climb We gon' make it in our prime, signing on the dotted line Cashing checks left and right, that's the way I'm living life uh, I feel alive when I got a goal in sight Chip away, I gotta fight, ain't nobody else in sight Man, I think I see the light, yeah, that shit is so bright Follow me, I got the guide, see you on the other side, son Ain't nobody know what I'm been Ain't nobody know what I can do I'm ready to go into battle I'll put on a show that will dazzle I'm about to take off Let's split the video in three main chapters uh, as usual So the specs, then the house of mid and upper And finally my conclusions Starting from the specs, you can see how light it is uh, Only 213 grams uh, with a perfect drop 10 millimeters and the low to the ground stack eight. And yes, it has a torsion system. Outsole now. The outsole is basically the same like in the RC4. It is not the continental rubber, but the hardy wear. But still, the grip is good. The pattern design is okay because it doesn't collect any stones. And uh, Especially it's not too thick, so that is annoying and uh, too rigid underneath your feet. You can even hear that from the sound. It has the same torsion system like the RC4, so great. In terms of durability, the also is pretty good because with the RC4 I run already 400 kilometers and Still in good conditions. Midsole now. Here we got the midsole is a full ice strike, so you know this foam is pretty firm, and uh, I like it because this, like in the RC4, is pretty low to the ground, exactly firm, responsive, nothing so fancy, but it's working well. You can also see the harshness of the foam measured with the durometer in the table here. For the running dynamics, you can see that increasing the pace uh, in the fastest repeat, uh, the number 7, the vertical oscillation ratio decreases, as well as the ground contact time, so it means the shoe propel you forward instead of propelling you up, meaning it is pretty efficient. The downside of this midsole is that being so firm at the beginning is not so comfortable, but the good thing is that once you do some miles, like 50 miles, then it starts to be more comfortable. And in terms of durability, this midsole is great because despite this firm at the end, it's become more comfortable during the kilometers and also lasts longer than other forms that I've used so far. Upper now. In terms of upper, I guess this is the real news and change in this shoe. So it's much lighter, much more breathable because if you remember the RC4, uh, it's an upper that is not that breathable, but probably more durable than this one because this one is very light and very breathable. I'm afraid that it will not last longer as in the RC4. Even though it's a great upper, it reminds me the Boston 9. It has the same shape and uh, yeah, I like it. The only thing that I don't like is that in this version we have these rings. Uh, that I'm not sure I I don't trust in these rings to be honest because my first experience with the uh, I remember the S20 uh, version 2 if I'm not mistaken uh, I got one broken and I was uh, in vacation with only one pair of shoes so I don't trust this in terms of uh, the durability I believe the normal rings for the laces are much better. Unfortunately now the RC5 has these uh, thinner laces uh, that in terms of lockdown 
are not that good like the traditional ones uh, but still uh, this shoe has a good foot load down the heel counter is very thin and uh, also comfortable low it's not that high it's lower than the RC4 uh, the tang is great I believe it's close to the tang in the RC1 or RC2 it's pretty much similar and I love it in terms of colorway I like this color so I know I mean it's white it will get dirty soon but doesn't matter I love it so in conclusion it's a shoe that is pretty much light and uh, low to the ground very responsive like uh, an old school uh, razor even lighter than the RC4 I would mainly use on the road of course or in the treadmill for uh, short fast workouts like uh, interval trainings uh, or fast fart leg for instance uh, uh, like one minute fast, one minute slow so something very fast for racing I would use this shoe mainly for a 5k race I believe maybe for a 10k in the truck but I'm not sure on the road uh, the tarmac is very uh, stiff uh, so it's very low to the ground uh, the light track is pretty firm so I would rather use this shoe for a, a short race like a 5k and uh, I guess it's very much uh, a good shoe for for this kind of distances I hope it was useful if you liked this video please leave a like subscribe if you haven't yet and activate the notification bell so you won't miss any new content and uh, as always as always Thanks for watching and till the next time, keep running! <clears throat> Ice in my veins, I've been driving this train Years in this lane, there's no stop in this flame Cause I came to the game and I changed it to play How I like rearranged it to my own domain Yeah, I got what it takes, made lots of mistakes Taking shots, skipping breaks, feeling lost, feeling great Popping off, singing straight, never stop, never changed All the squad here to play and I've got something to say, yeah I work hard each and every day I get lost in the words I say I don't push pause, no I push play I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits I build tall, never captain space I won't stop till I hear him say